Can you tell us why you wanted to be a part of this? One, I, I, uh, I'm completely devoted to the environment. I mean, that's so important to me. I believe that God gave us a beautiful world to live in, and I'd like to preserve it. And uh, I believe in this area. I believe in New Orleans. I've been living here on and off for the last 17 years. First home I ever purchased was here. And uh, this town is the soul of America. I mean, the music, the food, the architecture, the flavor, the whole thing, the way of life. And um, this place has been taking some hard knocks. And I'm just here to assist, like I was saying to, to my man here, you know. We're just here so that people like him can be heard. Um, you know, I don't know how to stop this oil. That's not my department. I just hope that these geniuses will, will get it stopped. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned for these fishermen, the local people here that I get to speak with. This is not something that I read about or hear. I get to go speak to these people and I get to understand what they're going through and, you know, what it's like for them to be completely shut down and not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. So I'm just here to play some music and just assist these people in having a voice. And it's really nothing. It's really nothing. I wish there was more that I could do. But I'm humbly here to be with the people, and that's, that's what it's all about. I feel really sad because uh, we have a beautiful world, and uh, you know, there's a lot of big problems in this world, but it's a beautiful world that we live in. And to see the water get polluted like that, and I mean, you know, the smoke isn't going to begin to clear for a very long time. We don't even know what the outcome of this is going to be. This is, this is huge. This is something that we haven't seen by the time it ends, I believe. Something we haven't seen. And uh, it, it makes me feel really sad, you know, because uh, for this gulf to be polluted, who knows where this water is going to go, where the, where the wind is going to carry it, if it's going to go up the eastern seaboard, like they're saying, and, you know, all of these uh, horror stories, you know, we don't know yet, but uh, it ain't good. Yeah, I'm upset. I, I, I you know, I, I don't know how much money people are making, but I know... It's a lot of money, and this area is not compensated properly, um, and these people who are out of work are not being compensated properly, and uh, the least you could do is take care of these folks. This is a great example, you know, uh, but human beings are very interesting. When everything gets fixed and it's kind of cleaned up or it's out of sight, it becomes out of mind and we continue to carry on. Uh, with our with our greed and our convenience and uh, uh, we don't need to be dealing with this oil uh, the way that we are you know we have new technology we know how we can move forward and we can live in a different way but greed and convenience you know and people that have been living off of this and uh, you know it's, it, it's, it's definitely time for a change but I, I, I don't know how the how human beings are going to deal with this Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.